If you have a 2008, 9 or 2010 Ford Super Duty, your time has come. I'm excited to tell you about the Morimoto XB Hybrid LED projector headlights. These things are unlike anything else on the market. It'll completely change your driving experience and the look of your truck. You're gonna wanna see this. If you know anything about aftermarket headlights for your truck, you've probably seen a ton of different styles out there. And I'll be the first one to tell you that most of them are junk. Just go watch our other videos where we talk about headlights for other trucks and you'll see that the majority of options on the market are less bright than stock, stupid looking, and very low quality build. The Morimoto product line is the top of the line. These are not the most expensive headlights Morimoto makes. That would be the XB with more projectors. This is the XB Hybrid. Now it still uses all LED technology with the exception of the turn signal. You take your old turn signal bulb out and you stick it in this thing. Everything else replaces your old incandescent lighting with LED. You've got two projectors. You've got a dedicated low beam and then you've got a high beam. And then you've got a daytime running light. Now this is something that your truck does not have but modern vehicles do. This is super exciting because it's gonna make your truck look modern during the day. You see this accent light, this white strip that goes around the bottom and the top? It's kind of a half square shape that looks a lot like the modern Super Duties with that big LED strip. Now your truck from 08 to 10 can have that same look. The way it works is in the daytime when you're driving around and your headlights are off, this thing lights up at a pure super bright 5000K LED white color. And then when you turn your headlights on, you'll get your projector that fires up and the daytime running light strip dims down to 50%. What this does is not only completely change the way that your truck looks, but it also helps other people see you during the day. The other thing that your stock headlights have is a little incandescent light bulb on the side. Now, with the Morimoto XB Hybrid headlights, it's an LED circuit board built into the headlight. The four big reasons to put these LED headlights on your Super Duty are the brightness. These things are insanely bright, 553% brighter than what you have now. That's insane, that's a game changer. You wanna talk about safety? The beam pattern and the brightness bring it together. The style, these things are gonna change the look of your truck. These will change your driving experience and what your truck looks like during the day. One of my least favorite things to do with headlights that are 10 years old is swap out light bulbs. With these, you don't have to. Everything is a fully integrated LED system. Each projector has the LED chip behind it built in. There isn't even an access back here for replacing anything because you don't have to. The side marker is LED. There's no light bulb there. The daytime running light is a strip of LEDs. These require no maintenance outside of the turn signal. And if you wanted to, you could replace the turn signal with an LED bulb too. This is what your original halogen low beam looks like on your truck. The beam pattern looks fine, but you can tell how old it is with the technology that they used to have. It's not very bright compared to modern standards, and especially if your vehicle is still using the original 10-year-old light bulbs, it's gonna be even less dim than it was when it came off the factory floor. So we started with this, and we're gonna use a digital lux meter to measure the actual brightness on the wall at 25 feet in this entire test. Check out what happens when we flip on the LED low beam. Holy shit! 476% brighter than stock. This is insane. This is what your headlights on any vehicle should look like, especially considering that everybody else on the road seems to have bright LED headlights now. You drive something with those old halogen headlights and you're gonna get blinded because everybody else has brighter headlights. But this is also gonna help you see those animals at night. It's gonna help you see further down the road. It's gonna help you see down out into the field. Check out the high beam. High beam on this truck is pathetic from the factory. These original halogen headlight bulbs barely put any more light on the road than your stock headlights. But the Morimoto XB LED Hybrid High Beam is gonna knock your socks off. Look at that, 553% brighter than your old stock headlights. If you need a reason to upgrade, this is it. Don't wait until you get into an accident. Get the headlights now so you can avoid those situations. Cool looking headlights is one thing. 
but that brightness and the beam pattern is really what's important. If you've ever done any kind of long distance driving with dim headlights, like your 08 to 10 Super Duty has, you're gonna find that it's more draining than driving long distance in a modern vehicle with these kind of headlights. That's because your eyes are constantly straining to see further down the road than what your stock halogen headlights give you. All of these reasons to make this your next upgrade. Next, we'll show you how to do the install. Thanks, Chris. Now let's get started on the install. We'll be replacing these kind of worn out housings with these brand new Morimoto hybrid housings. And let's get to it. The first step we're going to do is open the hood. Now that we have the hood opened up, the next thing we're going to want to do is to loosen the front bumper. To do that, there's a total of six bolts. There's two 13 millimeters and four 19 millimeter bolts that are located right in the front. All right, the first one I'm going to want to loosen is the 13 millimeter because that's the one that's the most difficult to reach. Let's go start with that right now. And again, don't remove it, just loosen it. Now that we have the 13 millimeter bolts loosened up, we can focus on the four 19 millimeter bolts. You'll need two ratchets in order to do that. And do the same thing for the other side. Now that we have the front bumper loosened up, we can remove the four bolts that hold on the headlight housings, and let's get started. Now that we have the four bolts removed from the headlight housing, the next step is to remove the locking tab and the harness tab. The locking tab is located right here, and the harness tab is right here. Now that we have the housing removed, the next step we're going to want to do is reuse the signal light because it will be used on the new XB hybrid housing, and you want to remove these two tabs. And to set the housing off to the side. Now that we have the headlights removed, we're going to run the DRL harness. You're going to want to install this fuse tap and make sure this longer black wire goes on the passenger side of the vehicle. Let's run it now. To run the DRL harness, we'll have to get to the fuse box, but it is blocked by this part here. But it's okay, it's easily removed with this little tab right here. And just remove it and pull it off to the side. Now that we have that part out of the way, we can remove the fuse box cover. Let's pull the tab and just pull out by the wig a little bit. Next, you're going to want to remove this 10 amp fuse. It's the red one right here, right behind the brown 5 amp fuse. And take some needle nose pliers and gently pull. You don't have to give a lot of effort. Now that we have the 10 amp fuse removed, we can install the fuse for the DRL harness. Just use your thumb and gently push it. Now that we've fed the DRL harness to each headlight, you want to reinstall the fuse box cover. Now that we have the DRL fuse installed, we can run the harness to each headlight. Make sure to run the passenger side DRL harness behind the intercooler. I do it because it's nice and neat and tucks it away so it's not in sight. Now that we've ran the DRL harness, we can now begin fastening up all the connectors to the lights. Now that we've gone through and made sure that all the functions of the lights work properly, you want to go back through and make sure all the connections are tight and that you've zip-tied any excess wires. 
Back to you, Chris. What more is there to say? Anybody with an F250 or F350 should be looking at headlight upgrades. It's not just for style. Now we have done a ton of testing on different headlights like these housings and others against stock headlights. And I'm telling you, you have to go check out our other videos and see those tests for yourself. You're gonna learn so much about what makes a good headlight and how they work and how to decide what's best for your truck by educating yourself. So some of the things that I wanted to point out in this headlight are the fact that they actually use automotive grade Osram Oslon LED chips in the whole thing. That's the difference between these and something else out there. They're not just the best light output, they're also built the best. And of course you can find all kinds of upgrades for your truck at headlightrevolution.com.